This video is a response to a question I had. I've already made a video about patio control joints, but they seem to have a difficult time understanding what I was referring to. So I'm going to give it another shot here and try to go a little faster because uh, it's, I've already made this video three times. It seems like it's uh, taken a while, so I'm going for it here. Okay, if you have a four inch thick concrete slab, eight foot is the maximum. One, one website referred to as the absolute maximum. Another one referred to 12 foot as the absolute maximum. Five inch thick slab, the, again, the one referred to 10 foot as the absolute maximum, the other 15 feet. Six inch thick slab, 12 to 18 feet for that. Now, I think a for a four inch slab, 12 foot would be acceptable. 10 foot, maybe we could split the difference on all of these. 10 foot maybe is our absolute maximum. Something in here about 12 foot, 13 foot absolute maximum. Here, maybe 14 feet absolute maximum, 15 feet. Um, just, we can kind of go with that, but you're going to have cracks in your concrete. It's just hard to eliminate it. If we went with a four inch thick slab, and it was going to be eight feet by eight feet. And we says, hey, wait, this falls within our acceptable uh, limits. There's a good chance this slab's going to crack. It's just kind of, it's, you're going to get cracks in your concrete slabs. The control joints are just going to help to reduce the amount of them you are going to get. The more control joints you put in your slab, the uh, higher the probability that uh, you will reduce the, the cracks in the concrete. So, I mean, if I had uh, uh, lines every two feet here in each direction and I have a crack that starts here, there's a good chance it's going to stop at the point where the other line is. I'm not saying it will all the time. I have seen them go right across the slabs, but uh, that's the main thing I wanna make uh, crystal clear here. These lines here are not going to eliminate the possibility of cracking, just going to reduce it. So here we have a 14 foot by 10 foot. We split it right down the middle. Something like this is, falls within the range less than eight feet, less than eight feet for uh, a four inch thick slab. Something like this should work out pretty good. Getting a little bigger here, 18 foot by 12 foot. We split it right down the middle. Now we have a span over eight foot. This would work for the five inch thick and the six inch thick concrete slabs, but might not work for the um, four inch. And to be honest with you, I think something like this would be fine for a four inch slab. And I think most concrete um, professionals would agree with me also. But if you're worried about it, Cut it in half, put another line in there. This reduces it to six feet and six feet. Um, here we have six feet and eight feet. Put a two foot, um, two foot, a uh, couple of two foot lines down the center here and to give us our eight foot. And this, I'm just kind of throwing this out there to give you a different design. Maybe you don't want something like this. Um, something like this might work well. And even some of the examples I'm gonna provide you with in the throughout the rest of the video you can kind of use these designs and come up with your own ideas for your slab widths and lengths this one right here just kind of threw this out there even though you might have um, this would be nine feet here uh, you know if you have a crack it might crack right to here you know, something like that. Remember, the cracks love coming off these corners. They really do. This outside corner, oh, they love coming off of these inside corners here. Just, uh, I think it's uh, um, their uh, zone. That's when they're in their zone there. So uh, corners and cracks for concrete, um, just the way it is there, I guess. 20 foot by 15 foot, split it in half, 10 foot, 8 foot, almost 8 foot. Um, again, this one, this would be acceptable for a 5 inch thick concrete slab, not for a 4 inch thick, even though for me something like this would be fine. This is within the, within the range. 
Um, you're worried about it, we'll put another line down the middle. Again, this one here, I just moved it over a little instead of the uh, previous slab, we had two foot. This one here, we have four foot. And then you can always do something like this, cut it up into sections. And uh, if you're looking for a better design. Now, this is going to be easier to do when you are finishing the slab. This something like this is going to be a little more difficult. And like I said, or maybe I didn't mention this, these control joint lines can be installed when you are finishing the concrete slab with a special trowel, or they can be cut in later with a concrete saw. So um, you can actually pour the slab and then have a concrete saw come out and cut the lines. You can cut them yourself, go down to your local rental yard, cut the lines yourself. They need to be a quarter of the distance th thick of the concrete slab. If you have a four inch thick concrete slab, the control joint lines would need to be one inch, one inch deep into the concrete. Okay, here's another one. We have 24 foot by 20, kind of just the same thing, just kind of throwing it out there. You can kind of see where we're going with these. And uh, longer slab, something like this, 60 by 24, split it all up down the middle, 10 foot by 12 foot. Um, this has a 10 foot by 11, 11 foot, 11.2 foot uh, rectangle. And last but not least, you can have this right here and make sure that you connect these because like I said, they, the cracks love coming off the corners. If you didn't put this line here, and I believe this distance is two feet here, if you didn't put this here, I would almost guarantee that it is going to crack off of the corners um, and then die into here. You could have a crack that would just kind of come over to here. You could have a crack that come over to here. Um, and again, I could put this in and I could put it in a six inch thick concrete slab. Um, I could um, install the uh, control joints to the correct depth and to the maximum, less than the maximum spacing. And you could still have a crack go all the way across here. It is just the way it is. So I hope that helps. And um, if it doesn't, I really don't know what to do. I think I, I think I put the best I could into this one here for an explanation. But hey, who knows? In the future, I uh, might get better at my craft and might be able to make a shorter video and explain it even better. So what the heck? Time will tell.